Good morning guys, um, happy Saturday the 9th of December, wow that's gone fast. I am down a private lane so don't worry about the driving, um, it's literally where no other cars come but I have just put a Yao back in a field, um, I'm just going to quickly stop at the end of the field and I can have a quick chat but yeah I just thought I'd quickly start this vlog um, and say we're nearly at Christmas and it's going to be a very good Christmas this year. I am really excited, but I'm just going to pull over and just have a quick look at all my other yows. And I've just parked in a real muddy place, which isn't going to be helpful, but hey, we do what we can. So basically last week we went to go and um, just push all our yows to the shed at our other place, um, just so that we could let them have access to hay because we're running out of grass very rapidly. Um, obviously we've increased numbers um, but anyway we we're pushing the sheep through the gateway and there was this one yow a mule who's been topped so that wasn't a good start to be honest um, she just collapsed straight through the gateway just close to the shed so me and Ben had to carry her back to the shed um, and she was literally on death door um, we didn't have much hope because we've had sheep previously last year with staggers and it didn't survive however we got to her just in time, I believe, um, because if we were there an hour later, she wouldn't have survived. Um, but we realised it was our own fault. We didn't mineral drench or bolus um, uh, yows before they went to the top. So she was obviously deficient in a mineral. Um, so we got her in, gave her what she needed, um, left her overnight and hoped for the best. And then the day after I went to go and check, I went to Carl's Billington and I grabbed some mineral drench and also uh, twin lamb. Uh, basically, it's just a sugar thing. So I picked that up and gave her some twin lamb and I mineral drenched her. And she, a week later, she is honestly back to herself. So we brought her home um, because it was just too much traveling twice a day to check on her obviously we wanted to keep an eye on her um so we brought her home she lived in the trailer for about a week um with hay water etc and good bloody news she is back to her good self so i'm just going to insert some clips i just did for instagram so i do apologize they're in portrait mode and not landscape mode but i am just going to include those and yeah then i'll show you all of our sheep and our young stock and some of our yows that are in lamb they're kind of mixed in at the moment so, this is the owl that isn't, well, wasn't very well. She's back to her fight itself. So I need to get her from the pickup into this field. And I've not gone here because it's a big dip. I'm hoping if I can get her out, she'll run straight there. However, she's a mule, so you never know. But fingers crossed it all goes well. It went well. She's in the field. Um, she's going to go and find her friends. But honestly, this is a massive difference. She's improved a lot um, I'm very happy um, yeah. so yeah as you've seen she is back to herself just from those clips she couldn't even walk um, but in this field we have our pedigree white face woodlands our 18 young stock and then we've got 15 mules cheviots etc um, bits and bobs that have been tucked um, we just needed them away from our other field because of the grass situation um, so they're in quite a big field at the moment and they seem to be doing okay. I've just got eyes on the mule that I've just put back and she's just singled herself out from the flock. Um, which, hmm. But Poppy, our white-faced woodland, has just gone over and said hello, bless her. Um, I'll just quickly show So, you. we have 35 animals in here. It doesn't look like it, but I promise there is. There's some at the top of the hill as well, like over there. Um, but here is where Poppy has just introduced herself to the mule and she's like, come on, let's go back to the flock. Um, yeah, it's a very miserable day today. Um, obviously, they are running out of grass. However, tomorrow we are bringing in our young stock. So all of our lambs are coming in. So it just leave us with 25, uh, no, 27 yaws, gimmers, etc. in here. Um, so yeah, most of our blackies are in here. Um, and the smaller, a bit more, um, less good of body condition mules are in here. Um, <clears throat> because when we put them in here, we had quite a lot of grass in here. So we thought, right, we'll put all of our poor doers in here 
who need a lot of grass and it's quite a big field. We have got two licks in there. So we've got a sheep lick from Mole and we've also got an Energize like pre lamin sort of um, forage booster lick just in case so that they are still getting minerals. And we've noticed that our sheep do do well with licks, um, but we would definitely be vitamin drenching them or giving them boluses from now on just to be safe. But these all need vitamin drench. So uh, yeah, that's a job for tomorrow. And I think the pickup might be in the way of the So I've just quickly jumped back into the car because there was a, a load of coming past. So I've just got a few errands to run. I've got some movement forms to take, obviously with the sheep we've moved, um, some Christmas cards to send off um, to family and friends. And yeah, apart from that, I don't really have much else planned. So it's a nice chilled Saturday. Sheep are checked. I sh checked the sheep yesterday at our other field. Um, they were only checked again today. I will check those probably tomorrow. Um, just because they've got access to around seven acres plus hay um and yesterday nothing really concerned me so that was all good um it is bloody cold so the last week we've had snow frost rain winds a little bit of sun it's kind of we've had the whole seasons in one week which isn't great when you're a sheep farmer because you don't really know what to do um but yeah so You'll have to explain the bit of noise. I've had to put me uh, heating on to demiss me windows. And you'll have to excuse the angle, it's not the most flattering. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, Christmas this year is going to be extra special. We have my family coming up. Um, so my mum, my brothers and my sister. Um, so yeah, they're all coming up for Christmas and they're staying for a few nights. And we're just gonna have a lovely like Christmas together. Um, this is actually mine and Ben's first Christmas hosting, um, which is crazy. We've been together six years, seven years soon, and um, we've never hosted Christmas at our house. We've always gone to our families, or for the last couple of years, we've not gone anywhere because COVID, etc. Um, yeah. So I've been like a headless chicken trying to figure out how I'm going to do this, the food that we need what my brothers would eat because they are very picky and also um what do i get everybody for christmas because they're getting older now one's 12 and one is 15 and my goodness they are so hard to buy for um yeah it's proving very difficult but i have finished my two brothers and my sister's present um my mom's i've got a couple and yeah it's just like it's the 9th of December today and we've not finished Christmas shopping which is a pain in the bum and it's very stressful because now places are very busy um, but hey what is it Christmas isn't all about presents it's about who you spend it with and how you spend it with your family and yeah we're planning on playing board games and just doing fun family things um, unfortunately I am working Christmas morning and Christmas Eve morning um, and a few days following up to Christmas but we finished milking the cows around nine half past nine ish so that's absolutely fine because that's probably the time that my brothers will start waking up which pans out perfectly um, and I also think I've got a cold coming my voice has gone really funny and yeah so you'll have to excuse that um, yeah I just thought I'd give you a little bit of an update we've had so much flooding it is ridiculous um, it's just a bloody nuisance and one of the fields that we are renting um, we haven't finished fencing it yet and we were planning on putting our young stock in there however because we didn't finish fencing it um, there's a, a farmer who puts his sheep on the land next door to a piece of our land that we have and they've got into our land which to be honest with you I'm not mad about because it means that they're eating down all the crappy stuff for us and they've actually eaten down by the hedge so we can actually fence, fence it off. Um, yeah, hopefully next year that will give us a better growth on our land. I'm actually just passing it now and we can actually get to the fences now, which is bloody amazing. Um, sorry, that was a big swerve from Christmas. But yes, I think I'm going to pop on some Christmas songs. I'm gonna pull over, pop some Christmas songs on and Get that festive feeling you know um so i did want to lamb contract lambing from about february to may however we will still be lambing in march so i can't 
expect them to work a full-time job and then um, lamb sheep because obviously I'm the one with the most experienced lambing and he knows cows obviously he's a good stockman for cattle um, he's also a good stockman for our sheep but I've had the most experience with sheep um, so yeah that's that's something I am looking forward to but I am also not looking forward to the stress of lamb and our own sheep because we've got a lot of gimmers that have been to the top and um, use the stuff at the top so I am kind of regretting that however he seems to have done his job and well we'll see by the start of February if we have any lambs but yeah I am just going to pull over now and put some Christmas songs on and I will update you later on um, hello it's still Saturday and I'm just in our little shed um, this isn't our shed we're using it for our lambs but we've got a little section this side and then just over the feed passage there's a long strip it's just an unused building that Handy for us, goes to home. Got a ring feeder in here to put hay in for the lambs. Um, been disinfected, etc., and bedded up. And now all that's left to do is bring lambs in tomorrow. Um, Good morning, guys. It is Saturday, the 10th of December, and um, same jacket, different clothes underneath. Today is lamb moving day, um, so we're just going to go and pick up a friend who said she'd offer to help because. The field that they're in is right on a busy road and there's just too many gardens, too many little lanes to block off um, so that sheep can't get in. You'll have to excuse the mess of me right now and you'll have to excuse the angle. Um, yeah, it is what it is, but I'm just on my way to get my, our friend um, and then I need to go and hitch the trailer up, head up to the field and then I've got to park on the main road so the sheep can't run down. Um, and then I've also got to be at the top to make sure that they go in the right place. But I'm meeting Ben at the field and then we're going to kind of discuss plan of action, etc. Um, yeah, let's get the lambs in. Uh, I just thought I'd quickly start today's series, episode, video, whatever you want to call it, of today's plan of action. Um, but I won't be recording too much um, because the friend that we're help is helping us today she doesn't actually know that i used to do youtube and that i actually quite enjoy filming it's just life has been absolutely manic um but last night i placed our christmas delivery um for our food our christmas meats boxing day foods and bits of party food etc um and then a couple of meals for while my mum's up here but me and ben have got to go shopping for ourselves um next week uh just so that we've actually got meals until my family come up which is a nightmare but crikey i did not realize how expensive christmas food can be um however it'd be worth it it is what it is at the end of the day um yeah so i did that last night because the delivery slots for sainsbury's uh are pretty much full so our delivery is coming on the 21st between half seven and half eight at night time which is fine hopefully um yeah, but I I will speak to you later on. To a lot of it. So, sheep are coming from that field. My car's parked there, and then I just need to direct them into here, and not up here because that's the main road. But we shall see. We shall see. So this morning, a pro the sheep are actually proven to be little shites. Please excuse my language, but um, a friend who was stood in the gap, she's now in the field. We've got a man who's just blocked a gap off of his car. He's now in the field getting the sheep. Um, it's the joys of having blackies, I guess. Um, but yeah, what can you do? So we've separated the lambs now and the yows are just coming back into their paddock. Go on, girls. Go on, up you go. Okay, so lambs are moved, um, the owls went back to the field and we've put the lambs into their shed. Um, we've actually put them all into one bit just so that we can then move them onto fresh straw, etc. whatever. Um, but the thing with having sheep indoors is you have to have hay, um, straw, keep them bedded up. Um, so my job now is we've 
pre-ordered and paid for hay um, I'm just gonna go and pick up the six bales we have left there and then next week we've bought 90 bales of hay so that's a job for next week to go and collect all of that but yeah I'm just popping it's about 10 minutes from home so it's not too far um, and I could fit six bales in the back of the pickup so that's perfect um, I'm gonna go and get the hay go to the sheep fill up their hay feeders make sure they've got enough and then I will um, maybe leave some there so we're not tugging them back and from and we just keep giving them hay um, we are putting an order in probably from Tar Valley for some lamb lamb nuts um, just to put a bit of conditioning on them it's just that time of year where the grass is so poor that um, animals seem to lose body condition a lot easier than they do in summer of course because um, yeah the grass is halted growing um, but yeah so grateful that we had our friend with us because I actually ended up swapping with her so she stood on the road where I was stood and then um, I went in the field because the sheep didn't didn't get out um, luckily we have very lovely farmers close by who says that if we do have problems he'll get his father and his dog um, to help us but luckily we got them out uh, like fourth attempt um, it's very hard without a dog and this time of year it's too wet for the quad to go in the field that they're in because of how wet the field actually is so a dog would have been handy um, I just didn't take the arm because obviously we've got yows in lamb and I do not want to stress them out too much um, because he's still learning he doesn't actually know completely what he's doing I didn't want to put him under that pressure so um, yeah but Ben's happy lambs are in he can keep an eye on them when he's at work etc it's kind of what he likes to do this is his thing that he likes to do he likes to have his animals in he can keep a close eye on them and if there's any poorly you can get them etc um, but yeah apart from a little bit of lack of body condition they do really well and I'm rather happy with them but yeah I'm gonna go and grab this hay again I've wore the wrong blooming shoes um, I've got a habit of doing that but yeah we shall see we'll go and get the hay and drop it off and then I will give you a little update because I don't want a lot for Christmas there is just one thing I need Good morning guys it is now like quarter past six in the morning it's Monday and I completely forgot to end the vlog so I just want to say a quick thank you for listening to me ramble on and for watching this video and I will see you in my next one bye